All right, folks, in this video, we're going to go over my checklist for uh, what to do if your custom computer will not turn on. So I'm sitting here hitting this power button and uh, nothing goes on. I don't see uh, the CPU spinning. I don't hear anything. I don't see any lights. Uh, what are we going to do? So let's go check uh, some simple things first. All right, so here's our plug. We want to make sure that our plug is actually seated and it is good. Now, if you're using a surge protector, you want to make sure that it is actually on. And uh, in this case, it actually is okay. If it was clicked this way, it'd be off. So we're good there. Now, of course, we want to make sure this plug is in the back. All right, so that's good. And then we have uh, right here, we also have the PSU has a uh, on-off switch. Now, not all PSUs have them, but uh, you want to be in this location for it to be on. All right, so if you go through all those and uh, still don't get anything, you'll want to go back and check uh, to see if the power cable is uh, damaged in any way. Of course, I would suggest unplugging it from the wall first before you do that, in case you do happen to uh, touch some bare wires. All right, so at this point, um, we could have we could have a bad power supply we could have bad case uh, meaning that the, the power button is bad so let's just go through some other things here now important things that come from the PSU you've got your 24 pin uh, connector this is a uh, powers your motherboard up you want to make sure that it is lined correctly and that all of the connectors are uh, seated then we've also got the uh, CPU power connector and you'll want to make sure uh, that that is seated correctly. Uh, those are usually uh, 4, 8, or 12. And if you're doing extreme overclocking you would probably have a 12. So all those look good. We'll hit the button again. Still nothing. Alright, so for a lot of noobs, um, this is something they screw up here a lot. Your connectors that go on your uh, JFP, JFP1 uh, which are basically your uh, case connectors. There's the uh, power, power LED, and uh, you'll want to make sure that you have those in there properly, okay? So uh, there's plus minus, and uh, you know, beyond the fact that you want to line up the positive uh, with the cable uh, to the connector. You also want to make sure that you've actually uh, connected it to the right terminals on there. All right. So if you've done that and it still won't power up, uh, the next thing to do, and we're going to switch over to video, this is going to help you verify uh, that your PSU and your motherboard connections are good. You're going to remove the, uh, the power LED connector from the uh, the front panel of your case and you're going to take a flat head screwdriver and touch that to the positive and negative uh, terminals and if that starts up your computer then you know that your case has uh, bad connections uh, excuse me the the power button on your case is bad or uh, you have still not connected the right front panel connector to your motherboard. All right, so that is uh, pretty much uh, what I would go through if I get absolutely nothing uh, working in here. All right, now getting a black screen, uh, that's another story. So we'll, we'll save that for another video. I hope you got something out of this. Thanks for checking out the video. Please like, please subscribe.